Hi! It's been such a big while since my last post. I have been extremely busy with my work, but today I have this time to make this video. In this video, I'd like to share with you my first impression, first experience about Lao Railway. I am talking about Vientiane Railway Station and the train itself and Luang Prabang Railway Station that I tried in last August, end of August to beginning of September. There are many different types of seeds, but the one that I tried is the cheapest one. It costs around $15 from Vientiane to Luang Prabang and another $15 from Luang Prabang to Vientiane. When you go to laotraintickets.com, these are the seats pictures that you can check. The first class seat on speed train, second class seat on speed train, business class seat on speed train, speed train carriage, seats on ordinary train and ordinary train carriage. I think mine, the one that I experienced is speed train carriage and second class seat on speed train. Sophie, Sophie. <laughs> Sophie, Sophie. <laughs> I'd like to emphasize that this is my first attempt, first experience, first time trying the train in Laos. So the information is based on my own experience on that day that I try. It might be biased. My overall experience was very good. I didn't experience any hardship. I could buy the ticket easily and everything went smoothly. Even like uh, when I get on the train, I got my seat. I didn't have any problems. However, the situation was uh, totally different a um, few months or few years earlier. Um, a lot of people posted online that um, they need to queue up, they need to they need to line up uh, to buy the train for many hours from the morning. I don't know I, in details, but I have heard a lot of complaints uh, about that. The process of buying the ticket, it was much harder than this. And when you could buy the ticket, uh, when you get on the train, someone got your seat. It's supposed to be your seat, but someone sit on it. A lot more problem than this, but I didn't experience any of those. Um, I went there during the right, uh, at the perfect time, uh, when the system changed and improved, uh, which I'm very happy about that. Let's start with the pros, the good point about Lao Railway. Um, nowadays, you can buy the ticket online through the application is much easier than in the past. I didn't try it that way because um, at that time when we went there in of August, my dad bought the ticket at the counter near Vientiane Center. I think is good because like for those people who, you know, like senior people like my mom and dad, they are not good at uh, buying things online, they can go directly to the counter and buy the ticket. That is very good and convenient. This is laostrainstickets.com. If you click on book now, you will be leading to ticket sample page. This is e-ticket order sample e-ticket sample and paper ticket sample. I got this one because my dad bought at the counter in Vientiane Center. But if you buy online, you will receive the first or the second uh, image. This is the terms and condition when booking the ticket.
yeah so you read the terms and conditions and then after you accept then you can select the date that you would like to book for the train ticket from to train schedule and prices I'm not sure because I have not select anything and then not sure because nothing coming up this way of booking is that you can pay by PayPal even if you don't have a Lao phone number or Lao bank you can pay by PayPal and you can buy by yourself and then click submit with this LCR ticket application you can also buy from this application and it is also connected to the BCEL bank you can select the from and to and then the date let me try to select some I will try to select on 23rd and search then it will this will pop up Bianchan to Luang Prabang stop station details and then first class seat second class seat all available if I want to book click booking you have to create your own password username and everything to use this second good things about Lao railway is uh, the railway station is very big the waiting hall is very big as well it has a lot of shops that you can buy inside including uh, Dao coffee and Amazon coffee and many other uh, restaurants that you can eat for lunch or dinner while waiting for your train and now we are inside this hall waiting for the train I really want to drink coffee so there is Dao coffee over there and Amazon coffee over here more importantly the toilet the restroom is very clean when I get to Luang Prabang railway station just a little bit walk uh, to the front of the station there are shared vans organized by the government um, that you don't need to book in advance. Uh, the van is just like a Hyatt van that can fit up to nine people, nine or 10, I cannot remember exactly, but if you go just one or two people and you can, they charge per person, so you can pay there and get on the van and and the van will, will bring you and other passengers in the car directly to their accommodation directly to your hotel which is very convenient and if you come just if you go to Luang Prabang just one person or two person or three people um, is very cost effective so we are in the van and we share the cost of the van uh, there is a counter out there is 40,000 yen per person yeah that type of van so we are like in one of them that's the counter selling that's the counter selling the ticket uh, uh, about 10 or 12 people per van which is quite okay
same as um, when you come back from Luang Prabang uh, to Vientiane. There is there are connecting buses to many different places like Lao Thai Friendship Bridge, Lao the Morning Market in Vientiane, and many other places, which I think is very convenient um, because you can continue your trip easily and cheaply. Uh, that is the like the bus that go to the Lao Thai Friendship Bridge. For those people who want to go to Thailand, uh, Nong Kai, I mean, like from here to the to the Friendship Bridge. Let's move to the cons, the negative or bad points that I think according to my own experience. Um, the first one is my dad has to pay 20% of the total uh, ticket cost if he want to change the ticket date. What happened was um, he bought the ticket at the counter in the Vientiane Center uh, he bought the he brought the ticket home, and then he checked the ticket on his desk. Then he realized that he he bought uh, the return date. He bought it wrong, the wrong date. Then he quickly went back to the Vientiane Center and asked to change the. Uh, ticket date, the return date, but uh, it was just like in within one hour. But uh, the seller, the the person who sell the ticket, asked him to bring this to the railway station, Vientiane railway station, on the day that we go, because they cannot change for him there at the counter. Day that we depart from Vientiane to Luang Prabang, we went to the Vientiane railway station a little bit earlier, um, just because we have to complete our mission to change the ticket, uh, the return ticket. My dad brought the tickets to the place where he can get the refund or he can change the ticket uh, date then uh, they only refund 80% of the total cost and then issue another e tickets for him. So my dad bought the wrong date at the counter, not on the internet, and they asked him to come here to get his refund on the spot. My dad, he bought the wrong ticket, so, you know, like, it's just like, he returned within just one hour, and then the staff in the city center asked him to come to this place to get a refund, and they only refund to 80%. We were not being scammed or anything, okay? Uh, everything is um, clearly state like the terms and conditions are clearly stated um, in the documents. Like if you go to the website and read the details, um, it is clearly stated there, like the process of changing the tickets. However, I think that it is quite inconvenient, uh, especially, especially for the senior people. For me, it's okay because like I can just buy a ticket online and uh, I just need to double check, but it would be harder for senior people, uh, especially in Laos, who are not, you know, um, used, get used to uh, buying things online. The second negative point about Lao train that I that I saw is um, on our way back from Luang Prabang to Vientiane, uh, the passenger who sit two passengers that sit next to our seat. Um, what happened was they didn't sit according to uh, the number, the seat number that is shown 
on that ticket. So they sit on someone else's seat. Then the person who supposed to sit there came to them and asked them that, "Oh, this is my seat." But, but. The, the couple told that person that, oh, you can find another seat. You can go and find another seat. And what surprised me the most was, Lao people are very kind and and easygoing. The that person who has the ticket, who s supposed to sit on that seat, right? She would just listen to what they said and just go away. Finally, you know, I saw her like finally she couldn't she couldn't find the seat, and she was just standing next to her relative standing for for a certain period of time until the train staff or officers. Realize or saw her, and then ask her what happened. To avoid that situations, I think it's better to go to the train station as soon as you can and get on the train. Sit down on your seat as soon as you can. Third negative point about Lao Railway is it is located too far from the city center. My family, uh, our house is located in the city center, and from our place to the v i e n t i a n Railway Station takes about 30 minutes. Driving depends on the traffic condition on that day. I think it's quite costly to hire a taxi from the city center to that railway station. Um, in order to go from that station to Luang Prabang, same as the railway station, Luang Prabang railway station, it is also located too far from the city center, um, about an hour drive. Of shocking experience about La Railway is that on our way back from Luang Prabang to v i e n t i a n we took a private car, picking us. Uh, from our hotel and dropping us off at the Luang Prabang railway station. Normally, all the cars have to be parked, or be even the passengers has to be like dropped off uh, a little bit far from the entrance. To go to the entrance, you have to go up to the platform level. I don't know how to explain, but yeah, you have to go further in order to go to to park or to be dropped off in front of the railway uh, station. Oh, แล้วแล้วเพทูได้ไหนวะเราซิให้เคยป่ะเอาเงินให้ก็จะให้ได้เอาเงินให้เอาเงินให้ดิเอาเงินให้โอ้พูดนั่งดูดีได้เงินหลายเลย Our driver actually paid extra, even ten thousand k i v Yeah, for the for the guard who blocked the road from uh, to go up to the front of the station, so that um, the driver can drop us off nearest as possible. There were not a lot of cars there uh, at the nearest place. Um, I guess those cars also paid extra for the officers to be able to go up there. There is no toilet paper in the toilet, so you need to bring your own. If you don't bring your own, it's not comfortable, right? On my way back from l u a n g Prabang to v i e n t i a n uh, capital, the waiting hall is a little bit dirty. Some people drop the water. And while waiting for the train, uh, the passengers ate food, and the floors and the chairs, the tables were a little bit dirty. I just hope that um, I just hope there are staff who always there and clean as quickly as they can.
other shocking experience which is not about pros or cons uh, about Lao Railway is that there are huge crowded of people uh, getting off and getting on at Luang Prabang Railway Station and the waiting hall in Luang Prabang Railway Station um, there are a lot more people there than in uh, Vientiane Railway Station that is quite shocking for me because I was just wondering where are these people from because the Vientiane Railway Stations have a lot less people while in Luang Prabang when we get off and get on the train there are huge crowded of people there the train boarding time is at 12.52 but there are so many people here already. So this is very different from the one in Vientian. The one in Vientian is emptier. And the size of the train station here is around the same size as in Vientian. And finally, my hope for the future Lao Railway is that I hope that um, the train, the railway station, and everything that I can see now uh, can be maintained like this in the next 10 or 20 or 30 years so that um, so that people can uh, enjoy the same quality of service and I hope the railway could give us at least one time free to change the ticket that would make life a lot more easier more relaxed because we are human beings and we could make mistake so just give at least one mistake for free that's the end of today's video i hope that you can learn something from this video from my own experience if you experienced something different or have a different story to talk about Lao Railway, please feel free to write down and share your experience in the comments box below. I would be very happy to read your experience and uh, thank you very much for watching this video until this end. See you in the next video. Bye!